Welcome to Indianapolis in the 300 price range. Uh, this is a house for 315,000, just came on the market today um, at the 53rd block of Ralston. So walking in, a uh, decent sized living room, opening up to an actual um, dining room area. Looks like at some point this was updated with a nice screened in porch, high ceilings, a little sitting place out there. The kitchen, just a little alley kitchen here. Uh, newer cabinets, decent countertop. Nice size window looking out to a little tiny deck out there. Um, looks like real, real tile here. So a little bit stepped up from the um, uh, 200 price range. We'll save the basement for last. Uh, not much. I mean, same. Looks like the same square footage. So I'm assuming this might have a few extra touches. And really, think the the biggest jump is just going on this side of the southern side of Rutherford Avenue. Um, looks like everything's updated. Subway tile shower. Vanity there, bathroom renovation. 2019 bathroom renovation. Uh, so it looks like all, you know, everything's just freshly painted, newer hardware, newer windows, refinished hardwoods in 2019. Uh, those look nice. They looked nice in the last one. Uh, kind of nice they did a little double uh, <coughs> closet organizing. 2019. Linen closet. Uh, so this is your basic two bedroom, one bath. So you can see the house we looked at yesterday, 100,000 less, actually had three bedrooms, one bath. And I think that one will probably go quick because this is about the same size, just split up differently into two bedrooms instead of one. Uh, we'll pop out here for a second. Uh, nice. I mean, it looks like the garage is nicely buttoned up. The garageway or the garageway driveway has been um, sealed recently. Weird little hill back there, but pretty private backyard. Uh, looks like, yeah, you could add a little fence there if you had a pet, and you'd have to fill in the gaps in the back. But all in all, it is good to go. Uh, newer fridge. And let's check out downstairs. Uh, so, I mean, another easy thing people can do is um, put down some vinyl plank, like uh, hardwoods. It just completely changes the feel from the basement. So it looks like, I mean, it looks like they've done some waterproofing at some point. Um, which would allow some sort of flooring to be put down here without an issue. Uh, another thing you can do... Oh, here you go. Waterproofing. 2019. They hit the lottery in 2019. They just started spending money. Uh, so, higher ceilings once again. Spraying black is uh, the easiest thing to do. It looks like it's at least clean instead of cobwebs everywhere. And... You know, it wouldn't take too much to drywall the whole basement and the ceiling to make it kind of bumped up to a, another feel. But decent amount of space back here. Got the laundry, scent pump. Uh, so it's good to go. Not sure how quickly this one will go, but everything seems to be buttoned up nice. But that is what 300,000 gets you nowadays. Uh, about 10, 15 years ago, this would oddly be around half that price. It's crazy things went up that quick. But that's it. Uh -huh.